Hey everyone, it's Deb and today I'm going to show you how to update your tracker so it has a weekly overview. This adds an extra tab onto your tracker so now you can see a weekly breakdown and a monthly breakdown of all your expenses. This is super simple and it takes less than 10 minutes to set up. I'm going to show you how to update it for both version 1 and 2 so just skip to the version that you currently use. Okay, so let's start with version 1 which only has the expenses form. So I'm in my tracker right now and the first thing that you do is make a duplicate of your monthly expenses tab. Then rename that weekly overview and then rename the other one to monthly overview or anything that you want. Then go to your weekly overview tab that you just made and then I'm just going to zoom out because it will be easier to create multiple rows because we're going to have so many rows for all the weeks that we're going to make and the first thing I'm going to do is delete this graph here. And then I'm going to move my yearly breakdown graph over to the side because we're going to produce a lot of different rows. And then I'm just going to select the rows 2 to 13 and then right click and go insert 12 below, then 2 to 25 and then right click and then insert 24 below. And I'm just going to keep making more rows until I get to around 54, 55. So I'm at 56 at the moment. And then I'm going to select column A and go right click, insert one left. I'm just going to rename the column header as week. And then I'm going to go one, two, make those bold. I'm just going to select them and drag it all the way down to cell 54. So it's going to go up to number 53 and that's all we need. So just delete any of the excess rows, leave one there as a space at 55. And then I'm just going to drag it so it's a bit smaller. So the next thing I'm going to do is go to my month and rename it to week starting. And then I'm going to select these and change the format of the date. So right now it's January 2021, but I want them to be specific dates. So just go to format, number, and then I already have this format in my menu as a shortcut that looks like 26 of September 2008. But you guys might not see this because it might not be something that you've selected in the past. All you got to do is go to more formats and then more date and time formats and then select it from the menu. So I select it and then I press apply. And now all of my dates are 1st of January 2021, 1st of February 2021, so on and so forth. But the thing they want to do is you want to type in the 28th of December 2020 because I like my dates to start on the Monday. And that's when the week starts for me. So I would type in 28th of December 2020 as my first week of the year. And then the next one would be the 4th of January 2021. And then once that's done, then you drag it all the way down to 53. And right at the bottom, you'll have the 27th of December 2021. So you have all the dates of the week. Then what I'm going to do really quickly is just update the little tab here, which says weekly budget instead of monthly budget. And this is where we update our formula. So select C2, which is the first cell for bills. And it's a really small change. All you gotta do is change one part of the formula. And I've got my little thing here to copy and paste, which I'll put in the description below. So it's easy for you to copy and paste as well. So it's just to replace the month calculation to a weekday calculation. I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see a bit easier. So you just select that part with the month and paste and then it's going to zoom out a bit so it's easy to drag down. So once you select that and just drag it and copy it all the way down. And as you can see, there's a little $10 from the bills example that we have and then drag it across all of your other categories. And as you can see, the other ones show up as well. As for total expenditure, you don't have to change anything. So you just have to drag it all the way down. Then for income, you just have to update that one part here again. So select the month area and then just paste. Select that one cell and then drag it all the way down. And then see the thousand dollars shows up. And then for gross savings, you don't have to change anything there. Just select all of that and then drag it down. And that's pretty much it. So. What we're going to do next is change our graph and update it so it's a weekly breakdown instead of like a monthly yearly breakdown. So I'm going to make it quite big because there's going to be a lot of data here. Let's drag it down a bit. 
and then let's rename it so double click on that and you can change the chart title I'm just going to change it to weekly breakdown yep so what we're going to do is also change the data range for this graph and right now the whole graph should cover the data from B1 to N54 so we're just going to do that and change it And now as you can see, there's all the dates here, so you can go week by week and compare. But right now the data looks so tiny because our range is all the way to $5,000 a week, which we can change. So just select it and then delete the max. And then it will just go and do whatever it wants there. And drag it a bit more if you want a bit more space and make the bar graph a bit bigger. And then what we want to do is just do a sample expense. So let's do one for today's date. Test, $123, and I'm going to put it under health and well-being. Then once I insert it, then it shows up. And it shows up under this specific week. So the week starting the 8th of February, today is the 9th, it shows up. And let's do it for January 1st. And then let's do another test, $34, and then put it under groceries, submit. And then, yep, it shows up under groceries under week one. And then it shows up here, and it still shows up in your monthly overview as well. And that's pretty much it. Super simple and really easy to update. Okay, so now I'm gonna do version two. So if you have version two with the income and the expense dashboard, then please keep watching. It is also super simple. There's a little bit extra, but it's not too difficult to implement and figure out. So we're in our tracker at the moment. And the main thing that we're gonna take a look at is our main dashboard. We're gonna duplicate our main dashboard, then rename it to weekly overview. And let's just rename the main dashboard to monthly overview or whatever you'd like. So once we're in weekly overview, then let's delete our graph and then let's move our yearly breakdown over to the side and select row two to 13 and then insert rows below, then select two to 25 and then insert 24 below. And then let's select 45 to 49 and then insert five below and then that should be enough rows for you then select column a and then insert one to the left so you make another column and then let's name that week and then one two and then select that bold it and then select both and drag it all the way down to 54 so you get the number 53 Let's drag it back and then select your month, then rename it to week starting. Then select your dates from January 2021 to December 2021. And then you go to format, and then number, more formats, more date and time formats. And then select this one here, which says the 5th of August 1930, just because we like that format the most, but you can select anything you like. Then go apply. Then as you can see, this is all 1st of January 2021 all the way down to the 1st of December 2021. But we got to rename that now. So the top one should be the 28th of December 2020 because that's the beginning on a Monday of the week. If you start on a Sunday, then just change it to the date of that Sunday instead of the Monday. Then the second cell would be 4th of January 2021. And then you just select both of those and then you drag it all the way down to the bottom. 253 and the last date should be the 27th of December 2021 and then if you go to the cell C2 under category 1 and it's a really small change all you got to do is change one part of the formula and I've got my little thing here to copy and paste which I'll put in the description below so it's easy for you to copy and paste as well so it's just to replace the month calculation to a weekday calculation So just copy and then paste. And since that's good, we're just going to drag it all the way down. 
then across all your categories, then for total expenditure, let's just drag that all the way down, we don't have to make any changes there, and then for total income, we're going to skip that for a bit, but we're just going to go to gross savings and drag that all the way down because nothing has to be changed there. Okay, so for total income, so previously it was just getting the sum of the total month from the income dashboard. We have to put something different in here because instead of getting the sum from the income dashboard, I'm just going to get it straight from the income sheet instead where we put all our original expenses. So what I'm going to do is go to my income dashboard and just select the formula from one of these cells here. So I'm just going to select the one from Workplace 3. I'm going to put the formula in the description below. So you can just copy it straight from here. But I'm just showing you how I would do it. So you understand what changes I'm making to the formula. So it makes sense for the whole weekly overview. So I'm just going to copy that formula from the income dashboard. Then go back to weekly overview. And then I'm going to zoom in a bit. And then just paste it. And it's not perfect at the moment. The first thing we got to change is this little section here, which is greater or equal to and A2. And right now it can't be A2. It actually has to be B2 because we inserted another column in. So everything was shifted to the right. So we got to change that to B. So now it's taking the date in column B. Whereas before it used to be in column A because we didn't have this little column that says what the week number was. Then the other thing is we just delete these two little sections here because we don't need to categorize these in any way. It's just the income. And the last thing we have to change is just that little section about the month. So we're just going to copy over the new weekly formula part and then we're just going to paste it. And then once that's done, all we got to do is drag it all the way down and copy it for the rest. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to split the data a bit on this to show you that it has worked. So if we go back to income, and right now everything's on the 1st of the 1st, so I'm just going to change it to 5th of the 1st and the 20th of the 1st. And if we go back to weekly overview, then as you can see, the income has split over those weeks. Because we've put it in different weeks, it's now sorting into different weeks as well. And then now that that's done, I'm just going to drag the bar graph down to the bottom again. And then I'm going to change the title here from budget to weekly budget. And then select this graph and just expand it so it's a bit bigger. And right now this graph is only showing a couple of the weeks because it was referring to the old range we set, which was for the month. So quickly, I'm just going to update the title. And the horizontal axis as well. Let's change it so the maximum is nothing. So we can see the graphs a bit easier. And then let's change the range of this so we can see every single week in this breakdown. So all you got to do is just select it and then go to setup. And then right now it's B1 to G13, but we want to change it to G54 because that covers all of the data. And that's it. So you can see there's more dates here. Let's drag it down a bit so the graph is a bit bigger. And that's pretty much it. Um, so it's actually super simple. I'm going to put the formulas down below in the description box so you can just copy and paste it really easily. Otherwise, if you're having issues, just go into my tracker. I have version now 2.1 and 1.1, which has the monthly and weekly overview. And you can reverse engineer it and see and analyze like where things are different for your old tracker and the new tracker. I hope that helps. And happy tracking. I have more tutorials on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you want to be updated with more. Follow my socials and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.